it's been a while we haven't uploaded a new video in this video i would like to share some points or maybe some tips on how to prevent your students on cheating in google forms especially in your quizzes and assignments so let's head directly to your classroom first tip only assign quizzes or assignments to the students that are present on that uh, session or maybe in your, during your class so you're going to assign a class or a quiz make sure that you are only going to assign that certain quiz to the students who are present insert okay so let me close it then that's what i have been saying uh, make sure that if who are the students that are present only choose them or only assign this quiz to those students that are present during your class so if andy for example andy is absent so just uh, unselect his name if ever crystal is also absent just uncheck her name okay so after that if this uh, students are present then jinky and the rest of the the rest of the students just leave them uh, marked as check and then assign or schedule let me just uh, press select assign okay so you are only going to select students that are only present why because later on uh, maybe if ever you select all students there are some students who are absent for that time they will be able to take the exam or the quiz they will be able to access the quiz even though they are absent so it will be unfair to the other students that are present during your virtual class so that's the first tip the next one is disable button for accepting responses why if you had uh, selected all students and then you forgot to disable the response button those students that are absent they will be able to access that file again and then if the class is finished if the only class is finished later on they were going to access that one they will they can answer the quiz without you knowing so better if the class is finished if the quiz is finished disable the button so you'll just have to from here you'll just have to head to your google google form responses and then just click disable so that's it just to be safe fair and safe that's what they call that next tip third one do not rely on passwords or access codes to keep your quiz or google form secure why i'll show you why for example this form has a an access code so all students that will be taking this quiz or assignment they are going to enter the code which i have set and uh, the code is 911 so if they don't know what the code is they can't access the form but why did i say do not rely on passwords and access code because if you are if this if you have students for example we have a student uh, last week uh, we just a teacher just reported this uh, incident uh, one of his her student was able to access the quiz even though she haven't shared the access code yet how did the student did this so we will head to a student's view of the form and just click okay so here the student doesn't know the, the access code so how did the student access this one very simple the student will just have to right click view page source so in this uh, page anyone will be able to check the html hosts within this uh, form using the view page source you can also select inspect but i will show you the view page source the, 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 the shortcut is control you in your keyboard it will be in windows okay so once you click this one it will redirect you to this page all the page sorry all the source code html source codes okay so how did the student find the access code very easy so in my in my in my case i'll just have to select this one copy and then i'll head to the page source and then i'll just have I will just uh, press 
on my keyboard to show the key as control F for control find. And then I will paste access code. From there, it has three hits. First one, this one, the second one, the second one is this. So the first two doesn't show my oh yeah. I can see it from here. This is my access code. But it's a pretty bit uh, difficult to notice or to define or to locate if this is the right access code. So I will just hit enter. I'll check it here. It's still a bit hard. But when I press the last enter again, check on the last uh, hit right here. So access code. Now uh, this one right there, 911. So my access code was 911. So the student can define, can find your access code. So if you rely on access code, it will be, you'll have a problem later on because if you will be posting this uh, Google form or a quiz ahead of time, even though you have an access code, the student will still be able to access that, we call this uh, Google form, and they can view what's the content or what's inside the quizzes, the quiz or the Google form. For example, this is the first one, first question, it's right there. Even though they can access it from here, but they already know what is the access code. So the student will just have to right click, copy, and paste it here. And then, voila, student can view the content of your Google form or the quiz that you have set to them. So it will be unfair or unfair to your other students because uh, those smart kids that you have in your class, they will be able to research for the questions, which is the right answer. Or maybe they can find the answer key for the book. They can make it an answer key and then distrib distribute it to your class. So to be safe, don't post your uh, quizzes or assignments ahead of time. What you can do is, you can, when you are going to create a classwork, you can create a classwork, quiz assignment or assignment, test sample. <coughs> I'm going to select the quiz that I created and there, just uh, close this one and then I'm going to assign if my quiz or my class will start at 8 a.m. I will select 8 a.m. so the students will, will not have enough time to research or to open the form ahead of time. Safe and secure. Schedule. That's it. So that is how you uh, keep everything safe for us. So actually last year uh, when the when Google haven't updated their system yet, students will be able. Uh, from here, we we are able to find which is the right answer. Or maybe if you have set the answer key, it will be defined in here. There's four options: A, the B, or C. The first one always be the right answer. It could be letter C placed up there. It could be letter D, letter B. Etc. Same thing for true or false. I have the true or false. When it fails, uh, etc. Blah, 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 like that. So the first one will always be the right answer. Before, but now they have updated their system. Maybe the students were not able to uh, to manage or uh, to define which is the right answer. So, but even though they can, they don't know the right answer. They can check the answer key for your quiz. If ever you have posted this one in advance and they see the form, they will still be able to research about the question, which is the right answer. So that is the uh, third tip. Do not rely on passwords and access code on Google Class. Sorry, yeah, Google Classroom or Google Form. All right, last tip. Disable button, make this a quiz. Where are you going to find this? You can find this one in our... For example, this is the form that you created as a quiz, and then I uh, just have to click the gear box on top. From here, you just have to disable 
or enabled. For example, you have already set an answer key for your uh, quiz, uh, like this one. I will set an answer key for A, North Amor, yeah, this one did the right answer. So, okay, this one, and then click that. So, if you have already, yeah, I'll try answer, okay. So, if you have already set the answer key, all you need to do is go to the gearbox, quizzes, disable this one, and save. Uh, the answer key will be disabled there. As you can see, no answer key. Why? Because just to make it safe and secure. Safe and secure. Yeah, because uh, this, uh, what, this is the basis of, this, uh, of last year's uh, problem. So just to make it safe for future uh, problems, just disable the answer key. You can set the answer key when you create the form. And then when you are going to uh, share it to your students to assign it, just disable, make this a quiz. And later, when all when all of them have, have submitted the response, just click the make this a quiz again. Save this one, and then you can import your grades there. No need to check one grade. That's the last tip. Hope you guys like the video, and if you like it, just hit like button or maybe share if you want and don't forget to subscribe. Jory here, peace out.